and the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Judge, 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 time. Yetkin Askul, known as Turkish Dynamite, says he wants to break everything when he throws a punch. Let's see if he does it. He is in the black gloves. Double Z is in the white. You said this might be the fight of the night. What are you looking for? Well, both of these guys are very explosive. So you're going to see Sugari really trying to set up that explosive power combination fighting. But that experience of Oskul is going to give him a hard time on the inside. Nice one-two combination from Oskul. He just attacked the body with a nice left hook and a spinning back kick now. Sorry, spinning hook kick. Nice kick in the backside there from Sugari. But look at Oskul splitting the guard with those punches. Good counter low kick. One of those flying knees we told you we'd see from Zugari. I don't know if I've ever met a 22-year-old who's as confident as Zugari is with his skills. Well, he's traveled the world, has a lot of fights in, in Japan and China. And he's used to fighting on big stages internationally. 32 professional fights for Zugari as he backs Oskul to the ropes. He landed a beautiful flying switch knee and then followed with punches, but Oskul came right back and countered with punches. Both men making their glory debut, and they want to shine. Big crowd here tonight in Holland. Nice low kick there from Zugari. You know, I like those. He's definitely using a good job at trying to slow down the boxing. And a right cool. hand, is that going to be a knockdown? No. He's throwing a kick. So our referee Paul Nichols said it was an off-balance slip. Both guys really showcasing that spectacular spin kick. Never know what to expect. Left hand lands from Oskul. Number one. So far, my fight of the night predictions coming through. Nice timing there from Zugari. Knew the kick was coming, landed the right hand. Zugari staying really calculated right now. It's a tough round to score. They both had some good back and forth exchanges. When when Oskul throws to the head, he lands almost every time. And he wants more. Let's go, guys. Another flying knee as the crowd shows its approval from the only fight that doesn't feature at least one Dutch fighter. This is a very close fight to call because you got to look at the boxing of Oskul doing a good job where Zugari's doing a good job with those low kicks and, and countering back, throwing those flying switch knees. So I'm curious to see how the judges have this one. Zugari, or rather Oskul, was born in Turkey, started Taekwondo at the age of 12, earned his black belt, decided, hey, I'm gonna pick up Muay Thai now, move to Amsterdam and see what I can do. Now he fights out of France. Turkish Dynamite, who has 78 professional fights, 28 wins by knockout. And only nine losses to that record. Very impressive. I think from what we've seen from both these fighters so far, no matter who wins or loses, the other fighter will be back in glory very soon. Love this style. Fight! Again, Oscar wearing the black gloves, Zugari in the white. These are the official judges' scores. Zugari wins round number one despite the punching power and prowess of Oscar. Oscar's calling him on. Nice footwork from Zugari. 
There's that low kick we saw in the first round. Zugari looks faster, does he not? Zugari's explosive. But I'm trying to see who the punching power seems to go to Oskul. Ooh. encourage fighters to throw those type of kicks. It obviously takes a lot of energy to get one of those off. Well, these featherweights can go for days, but you want to set them up properly. What's the biggest concern for me is that they put you in a, in a difficult position after. It opens you up, makes you vulnerable. So I like to use it more as a surprise tack rather than too frequent. But Zagari keeps throwing that flying switch left knee. He's got a few knockouts like that on his career. That was Andy Sauer, the coach of Zugari. Two-time K1 Max oh. champion, a lot of experience in that corner. Oh, and down! Wait, his glove touched the ground, I believe. That should have been perhaps a knockdown, but we'll look at that again. Either way, Oskul is hurt, but he says he's not. There goes a spinning back fist from Zugari. If any part of your body touches the ground besides the bottom of your feet, it should be a knockdown if there was a landed blow. A significant strike. He keeps calling Zugari on. An entertaining fight to say the least here from the featherweight division. Great. Oscar keeps calling Zugari on, and Zugari says, how much more do you want me to do, man? He just ate a hard right hand there. A big right. Zugari's baiting him in there, then he's going to mix in that switch left knee. Beautiful. And a right and a left, and now Zugari starting to find the target. Excellent round for Zugari. Quick. Double Z, they call him. He has lived up to the billing so far. He's exciting to watch, and this is what I was telling you. This kid has a lot of potential. And let's take a look at this exchange set up with a low kick. You can't see the glove there, but it looked like it touched the canvas. Let's see if we can get another angle of that. I know they're working hard in the truck. Let's see if that glove does indeed touch the ground. Follows the low kick. Ooh. Bang, left hook. You saw Paul Nichols look at it close. Well, he plays it off well. He's telling Zugari to keep coming, regardless if it landed or not. He wants more. He wants more action. He wants those exchanges. We're about to see the official judges' scorecards. We saw after round one that Zugari had won all the judges' scorecards. There's Cisco Elston, former San Antonio Spur and a Dutch basketball player. I guess a legend in this country. You make it to the NBA and you're from Holland, you're a legend. Round three now, three minutes to go between Zugari and Oskul. And there goes Oskul to the ground again. Paul Nichols says no, was not a knockdown. And there are the judges' scores. So Zugari has won both rounds according to all five judges. So Oscar needs a knockdown here if he wants to win. And it looks like it can come from that right hand. He's going to try to tag those low kicks from Zugari and land that right hand. And Zugari looks like he's having fun in there, too. That's what Oscar needs to do. Keep throwing those power punches. Try to catch Zugari while he's throwing those knees or low kicks. That left hook again. Yeah, Zugari has to be careful. Oscar does have some big punching power. Trying a flying knee. I don't think so, Oscar. He's got to try. He wants, he's trying to sell it good. Look at the punches. 61 landed from Zugari compared to 27 of Oscar. Zugari started well with low kicks. Now he's finding his, his range with his boxing and the way he's hitting that body and mixing levels with his punches using angles in his footwork. Very impressive.
<laughs> Zucari says, you come to me for once. I'm beating you, pal. Oh, and a right hand lands from Oscar. They're both opening up now. He's still taking punches. He's forgetting his guard. He said, hit me in the face, keeping his hands low. Like Ricardo Mayorga from boxing. I'll give you a couple free shots. Well, he's got to call him on. He's got to do something big in this round if he wants to take the, the win. Also, Mark Hunt and Ray Seppo. Remember that battle. Hit me in the face, I'll hit you in the face. If I'm Oscar here, I would be looking to counterpunch a little bit more. Zugari tends to drop his hands a little bit when he kicks. That's when Oscar needs to capitalize on his aggressive boxing. He's tried it there. Oh boy. Oscar's getting close, isn't he? He needs the knockdown. Double jab, triple jab, quadruple jab. There you go, it's Oscar trying to draw him in, taunt him, trying to get Zugari to open up, but he's got 10 seconds to put some combination punches together. What a performance from Double Z in his glory debut. Outstanding fight, and it may very well be the fight of the night. Great reception here from our jam-packed crowd in Dimbosh. Both of these guys put an excellent performance like I predicted. These are the fights, and let me tell you, the featherweight division is starting to shape up to be the best divisions in glory. We're going to go back to that knockdown, or so we thought it was, but it was ruled a non-knockdown by Paul Nichols. Look at the glove right there. Yeah, that's a knockdown. His hand touched the canvas, but it looked like... So will that come into play? Will it matter? According to the scores we've seen so far, probably not. But you never know. The official decision when we return. Welcome back here to Denbosch Holland, and what a fight it was in the featherweight division. Yeah, these are the highlights that we like to see over and over again. Both guys really laid it out there, trying to make this fight as spectacular as possible. It was an early boxing of Oscar that seemed to be doing the biggest damage. Zugari started throwing some good punches. There was that knockdown that wasn't called. But as the second and third round progressed, it just showed how aggressive Zugari is. Started showing good boxing. Trying to land that switch left knee multiple times, but it was Oscar just continually calling him on, trying to bait him in, trying to go for that knockout. At one point, Oscar said, look, I'll let you hit me in the face free of charge. But that strategy did not seem to pan out very well. 137 total strikes landed by Double Z. And you got to look at the strikes absorbed. That was Oscar keeping his hands down, calling on Zugari to hit him. But let me tell you, great performance by both guys, and I would love to see both of them back. The official decision now from Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. They all see the bout the same and score it 30-27. A unanimous decision for your winner, Zakaria Zukari. So Double Z showing his appreciation. You know, it takes a dance partner to have a fight this good. Let's look back at that knockdown that wasn't here. Paul Nichols perhaps maybe blocked there from his view. But yeah, that was definitely, you never know how it is in the split decision making where your eyes are. But regardless, the winner is Zugari, and that was the right decision.